Today we're discussing the time in 2020 when Gal Gadot gathered together her closest celebrity friends to record a video set to Imagine. You probably remember it, remember all the memes about it. But today, I just wanted to review it from a 2023 standpoint and maybe even hypothesize why this video came to be. Stay tuned. But first, let's watch the video with my commentary. Have fun cringing. Hey guys. Day six in uh, self-quarantine. Two thousand years later. And I gotta say that um, these past few days uh, got me feeling a bit philosophical. Um, you know, this virus had affected the entire world, everyone. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, we're all in this together. Um, and I saw, I ran into this video of this Italian guy playing the trumpet um, in his balcony uh, to all the other people who were locked inside their homes. And he was playing Imagine and there was something so powerful and pure um, about this video. Uh, and it, it goes like this. Imagine there's no heaven. Already, I know that was painful, but we'll be talking about Gal Gadot's at the very, very end because she has another, another appearance. So brace yourself. It's easy if you try. Kristen Wiig, what are you wearing? You look like a hipster from 2010. No hell below us. Above us on this Why is he twitching? Why is he trying so hard? Also, his name is Labyrinth. Have no idea who he is. Imagine all the people living for today. Yeah. I'm calling the police. Imagine there is no countries yet. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. You know, out of all these celebrities, I find Natalie Portman most commendable because she clearly does not want to be in this. And no religion to imagine all the people living for. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us, and the world will live as one. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can. No need for greed and hunger. Will Ferrell looks like he reeks. And maybe keep the comedy for a different time. This didn't feel right. Brotherhood of man. Sharing all the world. You. She looks like she's being held at gunpoint. They may say that I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. And the world will be as one. Why, oh why, is Gal Gadot posed like a TikTok influencer hunched over her camera? Alrighty, so now that we've watched the full Imagine video, you can see it's peak cringe. Imagine that, six days after everything starts to lock down in the United States, things are already locked down in different countries. Imagine. In this video, the varying keys, styles, and even seriousness. I just think in a very turbulent and vulnerable time, these celebrities did not do what was best. 
I truly think the most tone deaf part about this is these are all celebrities. They're all millionaires, every single one of them. And they were concerned about lockdown. They were concerned about what they were going to do. But there were millions of people who couldn't make their rent, who couldn't buy groceries, who couldn't afford anything because they were laid off their jobs. But these celebrities had millions in a bank account. In fact, the median net worth of all of the celebrities in the video is over $28 million. But then to sit there and to act like you have it rough, like you're one who is struggling and you're a part of this major struggle, I find that to be in very poor taste and I think that they needed humbled. So truthfully in the end, they got what they deserved. Something I find interesting is the critically not so well received Wonder Woman 1984 was planned to come out the summer of 2020. And so it's a little suspicious that most of the celebrities in this video are in Wonder Woman 1984. It has been hypothesized by some that this could have ultimately been a strange way to market the new movie. The film was ultimately pushed back to a later release date. I'm sure that they were all worried that this large, big budget movie was going to flop, but making this video was not the answer. I think this is best described as these celebrities thought they were superheroes that could bring peace to the world. And that is not what happened. <laughs>